What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the 7th beta of macOS Tahoe to developers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software, as we'll release it a little bit later for public beta testers. Let's get started. Me on my M4 MacBook Air, it came in at 2.22 gigabytes. Alright, what is new here inside of macOS Tahoe Beta 7? The first thing is that if you were to go inside of Safari and then go to a website, for example, MacRumors, and if you were to scroll a bit, you're going to see that there's now more of a translucency effect inside of the toolbar up here. We didn't have this translucency effect before, but it's really nice to see that we now have it. Now the next one's a little bug fix. So in the previous beta, I have had issues with Spotlight, but now when I search up an app, it now shows up just fine. It's the same thing with the Apps app. If I search up an app, it shows up just fine. This was a pretty big issue that I had inside of beta 6 and I'm glad to say that it is now resolved inside of beta 7. And now another bug fix that I had is that if you were to go inside of edit controls there is a chance that that the accessibility keyboard icon would show up up here but it no longer does that which is pretty nice to see. Before it would just always show up with the accessibility keyboard or the symbol viewer or whatever it is up in the menu bar but now it does not which is really nice to see. Now beta 7 was a much smaller update than the rest of the betas and that's because we are coming close to the end of the release cycle of macOS Tahoe 26.0. But we can still expect some things to come. For example in iOS 26 we got new ringtones. And if we were to look inside of FaceTime or even the clock app right here, you're going to see they're nowhere to be found right here. Not even Little Bird, not all the reflections, we just have the ones that were introduced inside of iOS 17 in here. That is to be expected in either the RC or macOS 26.1, so that is still something to look forward to inside the next betas. But also something to look out for the next beta is that I still have a couple of issues here. So if we were to go inside of Willy Widgets and then choose the storage widget, this widget right here uses legacy configuration with Siri Kit. So if we were to press choose, you're going to see right here that we still have this weird black outline around here. I don't know if this is going to get fixed, but this weird black outline is still present. It's not really fun to see. And if you were to take a look at the dock right here, you'll still see that the hands on the clock are white. Those are my only two main complaints with the latest betas of Tahoe. But other than that, it seems pretty stable. So here are Geekbench results, we got a 3666 on the single core and a 15119 on the multi core. If we were to take a look right here, we could see that it is slightly lower than beta 6, which is not too bad, but it is still worth noting, especially if it gets lower even more in the next beta, but personally I wouldn't expect that, we'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case. Alright, let's talk about what is next for Apple. So here is August 18th. The next beta is most likely going to release here on August 25th. Now the reason why I say the 25th is because Apple typically likes to do Monday releases right now and we're on a weekly cycle. And this is expected to be the last beta of macOS Tahoe because if we were to move on to September right here, you're going to see that we're going to probably going to get the final release here on the 15th. Apple will release the RCE here on the 8th, that is about two weeks, so one, two, and then we're going to get the RC on the 8th, or the 9th, or the 10th, or whenever the Apple event ends up being. And we'll get the final here on the 15th. Now, I do not expect Apple to be delaying macOS anymore. I expect it to release at the same time as iOS. But yeah, that is what to expect next from Apple. And thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, download my apps in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!